trying to drop even further so that greedy politicians will not want to run for office and only the more credible ones will want to run. A perfect example of my hypothesis is Anambra State. Recently, I urge other states to learn how to diversify and be less reliant on oil, proceeds, and federal allocations. I said despite not having oil in commercial quantity, a number of states did not seek the federal government bailout and the state still pays its workers on time. Furthermore, the state has made the best improvement in education because of its massive investments in that sector. After I made this statement, a number of states further vindicated me by becoming the first and only Nigerian state that exports vegetables to Europe in commercial quantity. Presently, a number exports $5 million worth of vegetables to Europe. The profit from that venture goes directly to its own treasury. But the peculiar thing about Anambra is that it has one of the highest population densities in Nigeria and suffers from massive land erosion, leaving it with very little arable farmland. Now, if Anambra, with limited land, is exporting food to Europe, then larger states have no excuse for being dependent on federal government allocation. What is it that Anambra has that other states do not have? They have more land than Anambra. They have more people than Anambra. They have received more from the federal government than Anambra. I will tell you what Anambra has, and Anambra has good leadership. Followers find fault. Leaders find solution, while great leaders find both. Anambra is an example for what can happen if we quit blaming each other and start aiming at solutions. And that is why I want federal allocations to drop so that all states will attract the type of leadership that Anambra currently has. My name is Ben Murray Bruce, and I just want to make common sense.